What's up sun rays welcome back to my channel it's ray if you're new here welcome today i am going to do another wash and go i am using the cantu shea butter for natural hair the conditioning creamy hair lotion i used this in a previous video with the wet line i got good results but i did get some flaking so i said in that video that i would reuse this with another gel to see if i get any different results so today i am going to use this with the Blue Eco that I've told you guys about. A lot of you are asking where this is. I'm thinking that they discontinued the blue one. I did see on their site a color treated one that was yellow. So I don't know if they just changed the color and the ingredients and everything are the same. I'm not sure, I've never used that one. I will say that if you search hard enough, you can find this on Amazon, but it's not sold by Amazon. It's sold by a um, third party and it's probably gonna be a higher price. I also have seen it on the Walmart website. Again, not necessarily sold by Walmart, but sometimes they sell products and it's actually shipped from a different store. So I did see this on the Walmart website and it was shipped by a beauty supply store. So you may try it there and it's a little cheaper on the Walmart website. Now, when you pull up Eco Gels, the most popular ones will come up. You will have to go, at least for me, I had to go over a couple pages, like maybe page three or page four before I saw this one. So I just wanna put that out there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try it with this to see if I get any different results than I did with the wet line. And um, yeah, we're gonna see how this holds up to it. So I have already applied the creamy hair lotion in the shower, so it is already in my hair. And um, we're gonna start applying. While I'm applying, I am gonna talk to you guys a little bit because I am getting a lot of questions um, in my comments section about the part on this side today about single strand knots, how do I um, avoid single strand knots, and things of that sort. So, I was gonna do a video on single strand knots, but I said, you know what, while I'm doing this video, let me go ahead and try to address some of that because I am doing my hair at this point, so maybe you can see what I am talking about. So, that's what we're gonna try to do. So, and I'm gonna talk from my perspective. I'm not talking for everybody's hair, I'm talking for my hair. So I've already had the lotion in and um, I'm just gonna start applying the gel. So for me, with regards to single strand knots, I feel like the more healthy your ends are, the less you'll deal with single strand knots. That, that's how I feel. Um, so if you have a lot of split ends that you haven't taken care of, you're gonna probably experience more single strand knots because those, that one piece of hair and that end that is split is like this. So those ends have more of a chance to wrap around each other and cause a single strand knot. So I would say make sure your ends are clipped, that you're keeping your ends in good condition, and um, and that should help. Um, another thing is, as you see, um, my ends are, they kind of coil on their own when I'm doing my wash and goes. If I'm using a gel that I feel is a light hold and they're not coiling is good on the ends, I will coil them myself. You guys have seen me do that. I've said that that's what I'm gonna do because I feel like that protects my ends as well. I feel like the more that they are coiled together, the harder it is going to be, or clumped together, the harder it is going to be for them to um, wrap around each other and form single strand knots. So do I get single strand knots? I do. Do I get them a lot to where I feel like 
Um, every time I touch my hair, I'm feeling a knot and it's just um, excessive. No, I don't, I don't feel that. So when I, again, you know, so like these, if I left those, those probably could go together, but a lot of times, you know, I'll just make sure that those ends are coiled and sometimes I don't. If I was to just let it go, it would, when it dries up, it would coil on its own. So we're gonna go, uh, we'll, you'll see that as I go along. Um, so yeah, make sure your ends are clipped. Make sure um, if you like to clump hair. Some of you guys like the shingled look where you have little bitty pieces of strands individually curled. So it makes your hair fuller. You feel like it makes it move better and things of that sort, and that's fine. But I think when you have individual curls like that, you have a better chance of getting single strand knots. I like my, I like my hair clumped, and I think that helps. Um, that's my opinion. If you're worried about your hair moving, make sure that you put the, the gel on your roots. A lot of times when you do wash and goes, a lot of times when people do wash and goes, they neglect their roots, so the roots are puffy and then their hair is puffy and it really doesn't move. And then you got the single curls and yeah, you probably will get a lot of single strand knots, a lot of breakage and things like that. But if you put the gel on your roots, that's a better chance of your hair moving when it dries. You'll be able to stretch it, it'll move. If you don't stretch it, it your curls should still be able to move um, because your hair is not puffy in the roots like an afro that will keep it from moving, if that makes sense. Um, you also wanna make sure that your ends are moisturized. So the more moisture you keep on your ends, I feel like the less single strand knots you will get as well. So if you notice, when I do my hair like now, I'm putting that gel on the ends, I'm rubbing it down. If I feel like I don't have enough on the ends, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to coat my ends with the gel that helps them to clump together, that helps the gel to adhere around my ends, and that to me helps them from loving on themselves and making single strand knots. That's what I've seen with my hair, okay? My hair is dense, my hair is a little bit coarser, my strands are a little bit thicker. If you have fine strands, I don't know how that would work for you. You just have to try it and see. Um, but I always make sure my ends are coated with gel to help protect my ends. So don't neglect your roots, don't neglect your ends. You know, some people are going so fast that they're just getting this part, they may get their ends, then they wonder why their ends are, um, you know, frizzy when they do a wash and go or whatever, because I'm coating my ends. I'm paying attention to my ends and I'm paying attention to my roots. Sometimes this part has less gel than the roots and the ends, probably for me. But if my ends are coiled, coated, my hair is gonna look pretty good. No matter whether I have puffy roots or not, and my ends will be a little bit more um, protected. Another thing that you can do to help is Say for instance, okay, so I'm done with this part in the back. So what I, what you could do, I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like I need to, but I have done it in the past. So what you could do is you could take your favorite oil, put a little bit in your hands and coat your ends. That's gonna help the moisture. That's gonna give another extra barrier to your clothing. I mean, barrier to your ends. So if it touches your clothing or the weather or whatever, it has, that oil on top, kind of protecting it as well and keeping those ends moisturized so they don't become frizzy and want to coil up on each other. So that is something that you can do. If I were to do that, especially when it's cold outside, I'm using castor oil. Castor oil is thicker, but again, we're only putting it on the ends. We're not putting it on the length of the hair, at least I'm not, I'm only putting it on the end, so it's not really gonna weigh my hair down like that now if i was to put it all through my hair yes that would be too 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 much so take that into consideration whatever your favorite oil is use your favorite oil if you have thin hair use a lighter oil maybe um, but use something if you have thicker hair that can take castor oil then try castor oil on your ends and see if that um, helps 
your ends at all. So um, those are going in, uh-oh, uh-oh, going in on the ends. So those are some suggestions just to get started with how you can try to avoid some single strand knots. Those are the things that I do. Like I said, I don't get, um, I don't feel like I get a lot. Like if I'm coiling and I go down and I feel one on here, which I don't, but if I did feel one on here when I was to coil or pull down on here, then I'm just gonna snip it. I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm gonna, going to snip it. I'm not gonna yank it out or whatever. I'm just gonna snip it out. So when pay attention to when you're doing your hair, whether you're twisting it or doing wash and goes, and when you go to twist and coil your ends after you've twisted, if you were to feel, like if I go down like this and I feel some single strand knots, then I can go ahead and clip those if I were to find them. It's called search and destroy. Some people sit, take a night, and they just sit and do that to get their single strand knots out. I don't do that, I've never done that, but if I'm doing my hair and I feel some and I cr come across one that I feel like may bother me, um, then I'll clip it. There's sometimes when I feel one and I'll just leave it because it's one. And it's like, I'm being lazy now. Some of y'all probably like, what? I would not leave that in my hair. It's gonna turn into a split end or whatever. That could be true. Um, so you do what's best for you. Don't necessarily do what I do. Your hair may not be able to take it. If you feel it, clip it. Take it, that energy. Don't be lazy like me. Get up, clip it out, and um, be done with it. But I'm just... I don't get enough of them. I just don't worry about them. I try not to dwell on it. And my hair is okay from it. So for me doing it the way that I'm doing it. But again, our hair is different. So, uh oh. So what I will say about this, which is I think what I said in my last video about this lotion, I don't feel like it is very moisturizing when you first put it on um i don't get the clumpage in my hair like i usually do with leaving and see i think i feel my hair looks very frizzy on the ends it doesn't have that juicy moisturized look that a lot of leave-ins give me um so we're gonna see so i'm depending on the gel to define my ends and we're going to see how this works. I think last time, I think the moisture lasted for about three days with this um, leave-in. And then I had to re-moisturize. So we'll see if it's any different this time. But yeah, that is pretty much some quick tips that I can give you for um, single strand knots. So make sure your ends are clipped. You keep them clipped and healthy. Make sure you keep them moisturized. Put extra leave-in on your ends. Uh, pay, pay close attention to your ends when you're deep conditioning. Um, when you're adding gel to your hair, put extra on your ends. That's what I do. If you feel a single strand knot, go ahead and clip it out. Put extra oil on your ends as an added layer of protection. Um, if you're wearing, if it's cold where you are and you're wearing winter coats, wool coats, coats with fur or whatever, make sure that you have a silk scarf that you can put around your um, coat to help if your ends are rubbing your shoulders or your coat collar that um, is rubbing on silk or a satin scarf and then you still have that oil on there, so that should help. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If I keep getting more questions, I may go ahead and do a dedicated video to it, but I think this is, um, these things are some places to start. Just try to um, combat your single strand knots. And then some people are just probably more prone to them than others. Um, you know, especially if you have thin, fine hair, um, you may get on more than others because your hair is a little bit more fragile. And if you're, you know, doing your hair, you may break your hair. 
um, and you don't even know it or split your hair, especially when you're using tools like combs and brushes and then now you got a split in that you don't know about and it does that. So that's another thing that keeps me probably from getting on them. I finger comb my hair. I finger detangle in the shower. Um, so I am a finger detangler. I know everybody can't do that, but that's what I do. So I think that maybe has helped me. Have I ever used combs and brushes? Yes, but 99% of the time, I am finger detangling my hair. So I think that has helped keep me from a lot of split ends and a lot of single strand knots as well. So you may wanna to try to stay away from tools or finger detangle first and then go in with your tool um, and see if that helps. And you probably won't notice a difference like right away, but over time you may notice a difference if you implement some of these things. So anyway, hopefully that helps you guys. I hope it did. If it did, let me know. If you have another question about it that I didn't answer, put it in the comment section and maybe I will try to get to it. But um, since I was on here doing my hair, I wanted to show you what I do. So I coil the ends. And I just feel like when they're coiled together like this, they have a harder chance of wrapping around this one and making a single strand knot. They're gonna be coiled like this because that gel is holding them on there. So that's why I say I think I have a lot less shedding with the wash and goes too in the shower because my hair is clumped together and it's clumped until I wash it again for the most part. So when I wash it and that gel runs off, that clump is still there and it's not tangled. It doesn't have a lot of um, shed hairs in it and the shed hairs that are there they just, you know, they kind of just wash right out with the gel. They just kind of slide right on off when the gel slides off when I get my hair wet. So that is what I find with my hair. Now I know everybody's hair is not the same. So that's what I find. So anyway. This is the looser part of my hair. So you see this part here is just loose. It's not heat damage or anything. But anyway, this is how my hair looks so far with the leave-in and the gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side off camera and I'll be back when my whole head is done. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am back and the product is all applied to my hair, so. see how it looks so I am going to sit under the dryer and I will be back to show you what it looks like and we'll talk about the products and how I feel about them so hey guys I am back and this is my hair straight from under the dryer so just kind of wanted to show you again um, some elongation this Side shrinks up a little bit more than this side so I need to stretch it kind of get it a little bit more uniform and um, a little bit more body but I will say that my hair feels soft and it feels moisturized right now so yeah we're gonna see how it feels after I've stretched it and we're gonna see how it looks so stay okay tuned. guys I am back and this is my hair so I have stretched it as uh, well as I could I will say and I think I said this uh, the last time that this um, dried my hair kind of elongated and um, Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something that I'm not used to so the back is hanging a lot longer than the sides and it is a lot to try to get it to have a nice shape where it's not short and then just drops along or whatever, but Anyway, this is what it looks like. So I use the Cantu Shea 
butter for natural hair, the conditioning creamy hair lotion. My hair does feel soft and it does feel moisturized. And I think I had the same feeling when I used it with the wet line. But today I used it with the Eco Styler, the color treated um, kind. And my hair is very soft, very soft wash and go. Although it does have some definition to it, it does have some frizz as well because I was trying to you know fluff it and frizz it to get it to shape up do i like this combination right now i do again not abnormally shiny or anything but my hair looks healthy and it feels good and the plus of this combination versus the last one is that i have no flakes i don't have i got on a black shirt i stretched it in this shirt I fluffed it in the shirt and there's nothing on my shirt. I have not um, gotten any dusting or flakes. So these two pair very well together. So that lets me know that again, it is the wet line with the blue top that is causing a lot of the dusting that I've been getting lately. Um, because that's why I wanted to try this with something else. I said, I'm getting some dusting, a little bit of flaking, although I like the definition of that one and um, the softness as well. I had the, oh, the white residue and the flaking back there. Um, and I think I used more of this this time than I did last time. I did apply it in the shower and I was putting more on it because I wanted to make sure that my hair was moisturized under this um, gel. And I still don't have any flakes with these two. So I'm attributing it to the wet line with the blue top. So those of you who love that wet line, go ahead, keep using it, you love it, hey. But it is, you know, I mean, I'll use it cause I have it, but it's not my favorite gel. Um, so yeah, this is my hair. I'm going to turn around and let you see the back. So that is my hair and I like it. So I will try to come back on day three to give you an update on how the moisture holds up and how the curl definition holds up if for some reason I can't come back I definitely will put my blurb like I normally do but so far I like these two they work well together and I will um, continue to use this as long as the moisture holds so yeah okay guys third day hair and um, it's morning so I haven't been anywhere I just took off my scarf and fluffed it out just a little bit, but as you can see, it is still very much defined. It's still soft, still has some moisture in it. So I am pleased with it. It is a little dull. So, um, you know, I'm not too concerned about that because I probably will be washing it tomorrow or the next day, um, but I'm gonna rock with it today. I do have um, a few places that I wanna go. So I will, you know, fluff it up just a little bit more, put on some makeup and everything when I get dressed and it'll look okay. And it will work uh, for today. And that is gray hair that is not flaking. So yeah, this is it. It did shrink up a little bit more in the back. I didn't band it or anything like that, but I'm okay with it. Um, once I, you know, take my pick and kind of stretch it out it'll hang a little bit more so basically that's all i do you just fluff it up and go ahead and get dressed but i wanted to come on to show you third day hair so still doing good so um, back to the video so, yeah that is what i have for today not going to hold you guys this is it let me know in the comment section what you think about this one as opposed to the other one um the other one is called if you haven't seen it i'll link it here and I'll try to put it in the description box as well, but it is using my subscribers combo or something like that. She wanted me to use the Cantu lotion with the wet line gel, which is what I did. And now I just revisited it with the blue. Um, and I said in the beginning of this video, if you did not watch it, I did say some places where you can pick this up. So 
check there. Anyway, but yeah, I don't have a flake on me and I am glad about that because I love this and I was just hoping that it wasn't the gels, that my favorite gel with it wouldn't flake, so. That's it. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you're sharing my videos with those you think can benefit from them. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.